and discrimination. Important that women's football uses itself as vehicle for change. Steph Catley to whip it in, in swinging. Catley's delivery dealt with well by Hines. Catley will be in the form of McCabe. Back to the Swiss midfielder. It will look to be the pendulum around which Arsenal tick. That's a clever ball on the angle. And the cross is a good one. Leonard Mornham couldn't quite force it in. A good, brave block back there. Arsenal corner. Might just have injured herself in the process. Yes. So dangerous as a direct runner. Flipped around the corner by Valti. What a ball. Leonard Mornham's in a lot of space. And closed down in the nick of time by Gemma Bonner. Who used all their experience to be pre-season games pretty much exclusively against sides in the Champions League and that's very deliberate as Russo finds McCabe McCabe's cross and Laws has shown smart reflexes there to keep it in I'm sure it won't be another call Leonard some Mornham to deliver Leonard some Mornham's cross and headed towards goal what a save from Laws to deny Bubben Moy that's magnificent goalkeeping from Rachel Laws. It's two. Both the league and also in the FA Cup by four goals to nil a couple of seasons ago. McCabe's cross nearly turned into a goal scoring threat. I'm not quite sure it was what she intended. A clutch gene, in her words. And they certainly captured the mood of the nation on their journey. Somewhat comparatively to what the Lionesses did on home soil. All this from Liverpool, they're just starting to find a foothold in the contest, having had to resist a lot of early pressure. Cross in towards Zinsberger, who's totally unconvincing. And Hines almost scooped it in for 1-0. It's still in there, proper penalty box pinball. And wide it goes. And Manuela Zinsberger will be the most relieved person in North London right now. There'll be 50,000 or so Arsenal fans who are feeling pretty Simsberger. Burns. Teasing and just wide. Just wide. Curling but a bit too much. Simsberger was wary and rightly so. Big last season. An electric aggressive forward. Catley. Catley's cross, comes back for Leon Hudson Warnham, who wants to strike it and does. Great reaction saved by Laws to her left. After the flying volley by Frieda Leon Hudson Warnham. Who had comfortably the best scoring season of her career last time around. And is eager to get her WSL goal tally going for the new campaign. She nearly did here. Ball came back out, Hines didn't really react. By the time she realized playing in that game, and also played for England in a World Cup final at Lords, home of cricket. As that's smashed in from distance and well saved by Laws. A third good save that Rachel Laws has had to make in this first half to keep it at nil-nil. This time denying Kim Little. Fisk on this near side now, Hines. It's dangerous in one-on-one -on -one situations, up against the Cass, gets the better of her. The Cass is cross, finds his cross, I should say, having beaten the Cass. And now back for the shot from Nagano, which is wild and wide from Fuka Nagano. Still yet to score her first goal for the Reds. And we'll have to wait a little while longer. But Liverpool can be all too content. We're getting to half time at nil nil. Weeks ago, Liverpool looking to spring a surprise against an opponent who they've lost every meeting with across the last six and a half years. Arsenal red and white now attacking from right to left. Right forward. Well, cut out by Catley. Oh, that's a clever slip ball inside for Kearns. Kearns is cross and in. Liverpool lead. Miri Taylor's first goal of her second spell and in just the third minute of the second half 
It's the travelling Reds who are in front. Great work by Missy Burkerns. And Taylor does the rest. A dagger in Arsenal hearts. Slightly loose from Catley. There's still a lot to do for Liverpool. Marie Hubinger on debut. Just helps it round the corner to Missy Burkerns. And there's Taylor at the far post. Really neat work from Liverpool. Now then, now they really can dream. Look at what it means to Miri Taylor. Rejoined Liverpool in January of this year from Angel City. Said she had tough Arsenal here, four. Balti. Intelligent ball in, and Hines had to be very well. It's a one two, it instead goes to Catley. Now Leonard Simone. Leonard Simone's cross, and headed wide at the far post. It's the best chance that Arsenal have created in this second half. It could well have been a first WSL goal for Chloe Lacasse. This dangerous corner comes off the post and then for Hertig and deflects wide. Jem Beattie had a go initially. My goodness me, it's all happens. Then in for a physical contest with McCabe. He finds Hertig. Sliding challenge doesn't quite work. Hertig's ball across. What a block back there to keep it at 1 0. Victoria Palova denied. Resilient defender at the back now, of course. Most interceptions of anyone for Arsenal in the league last time around. Teasing cross, didn't quite run initially for Blackstone. To use here in support. Oh, what a ball that is in behind. And great anticipation by Laws. The flag was up and Rachel Laws has got caught again and is in some considerable pain. Cleverly worked to Palova, who's got lots of space, and it loops just over. Some Arsenal fans thought it might have been in. The corner, eventually smashed clear. McCabe. McCabe's cross. There for Ford. Against Barcelona in it many moons ago. But here's Enderby, who's such a tricky, creative threat. The 18 year old slaloming forward. It's Enderby. Well blocked. Back in again. Oh, we're into overtime in stoppage time now. Liverpool have done it. Winless away last season. Matt Beard's Reds start this campaign with victory at the Emirates. Miri Taylor, once of Arsenal, scores the winning goal three minutes into the second half. It is a result that will send shockwaves through the Barclays Women's Super League. A first WSL away win since January 20.